I'm Gavin Roberts, I'm the volunteer coordinator for Call the Future. We're a local partnership within Calderdale that work alongside uh, other organisations such as the Environment Agency, the local council uh, and the Canal River Trust uh, and we um, help uh, local residents and businesses to take an active part in uh, physically managing their river and canal corridor uh, within Calderdale. Uh, that kind of work um, includes uh, invasive species control. We also do uh, river cleanups uh, and uh, canal towpath cleanups and improvements. So here we are in uh, Myvan Moid and we're standing beside the River Calder. And if we'd been here in 2012, we would have been swept away by the floods, which would probably would have been above our heads. And as you can see, we're standing on a very large shoal, which has built up over the years. And this shoal is a subject of some controversy, which we can call to dredge or not to dredge. Or should you do something called vegetation management and debris management, which is what you can see going on behind us with a mixture of uh, volunteers and uh, uh, workers from the River Stewardship Company. And, and it's part of Call the Future's job to organise this River Stewardship Programme. So we've got some we've got some pupils from Calder High. Calder High is the local comprehensive and we do an environmental volunteering program with them and they've sort of come down here because you know, it's, it's good uh, uh, practical work but also they want to be making a contribution to their local community. I'm Giles Stevenson, I'm head of sixth form at Calder High School and uh, we've come down today to help with the clearing of this site uh, for all the floods that we had in the last couple of years and obviously it's our local community so we thought we'd come down and give a hand. When we had that, the massive floods they uh, completely wiped out Hempton Bridge. Uh, we were on a school trip weren't we? Yeah we were on a we school trip at the time uh, going to Lightwater Valley uh, when we got the news that Hempton Bridge and like the Road and local area was uh, flooded. Local people are only going to be convinced by something that tells them something about their particular circumstances. And what the Environment Agency have done is to commission and undertake some modelling of this very stretch of the river. The Environment Agency have said that the um, dredging or clearing the banks are well, kind of two main options, but actually clearing the banks is more effective in preventing the uh, floodwaters rising and bursting the banks. Um, in the next few weeks we're hoping that they're going to come in with the model that they've got to show us that, actually how that actually works and they're going to come into our school and part of our enrichment um, all of our students will get to see and talk to them um, about the impact it has on our local stretch of river. So the, the theory and the practice uh, of what we've done here today which is sort of river stewardship it's called and it's about vegetation management and debris management is that uh, before we reach this stage, this area here was covered with brambles. Rather like those brambles over there, we've left them there so as to provide an essential habitat for birds uh, and, uh, and other little creatures. So once we've uh, cleared away the brambles, what you get down to next is this layer of brash, which is last year's uh, uh, dieback from the Himalayan balsam. If left here, what this would do, it would slow down the flow and allow it to build up. And the, and the capacity of the channel here will be reduced. Now what the environment agency modeling, it sort of demonstrates that it's more effective than dredging. And of course, it's also cheaper to do than the expensive and difficult task of bringing in diggers here and uh, trying to dig out the shoals and you'll only have to do that again and again. That's the, that's the theory and, and we've, we've had a good day today, cleared about 50 metres or so, a little bit more of the channel. We can come back on regular weekend sessions or weekday sessions and, uh, and uh, let's hope that that will make a positive contribution to reducing flood risk in the in the in the upper Calder Valley. It's good exercise as well, isn't it? Yeah. Good way to keep fit.